Chandra, Sphinx, or Grave Titties? One of these three will be the pick. Chat, which six drop am I first picking? Chandra, Sphinx, or Titan? Looks like Sphinx has the most, uh... Sphinx it is. What better way to follow up a Sphinx than a cryptic command? That's what I always say. We did mono black yesterday, didn't we? Or the day before. How well does MTG bot's poll command work? I imagine, well... Blue breaks me! Sapaneda! Thank you for the 15 months. That's better than one Sphinx. How about two Sphinx? Two Sphingies. I'm in for it. Master of Waves is whatever. I'm gonna take it, but it's whatever. Pick one pack one was the Sphinxy, and then we second pick Cryptic, third pick Phantasmal, fourth pick Master. I'm I'm certain you could wheel the Brawl here, but I might just take him anyways. Instead of say treasure map or threads. Thing in the ice, hmm. Would rather take Gideon here and potentially do like backup Chions. Planeswalkers are stupid. Man, Teferi now? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <coughs> Teferi's pretty damn good for Master Waves. Oh man, Teferi into Instant Speed Master? Oof. Well, I'm not super controlly right now. But, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Nykthos in our mono blue deck. Pick up Cloudfin Raptors and whatever. You guys want the tithe? All right, fine. I feel like Downfall is probably the best. Oh god, kinda kinda going all over the place now. Terminus is good. <clears throat> Fixing is gonna be rather key here if I hope on casting all these triple blue cards. I didn't think it really mattered. I'm sure the land is technically better. Banned! Banned cards. Take the remand. Am I doing early access? I think a bunch of people are doing early access, aren't they? I think a bunch of people have been... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yes, I will be participating in the early access event. September 24th, that is next week. Rivals thing went very poorly. I'm a little bit tempted to take conscripts here and look for Kiki Jiki. I think I like that plan. Oh, 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 We gonna do this again? Pick up Mr. Felidar if we can. Run it back. Also, if I'm combo, then Faithless Looting gets a lot better here. Take the Nahiri over the Jace. Oh, I just had too many other things I needed to do that weekend. Just didn't have time. I think there's another one uh, in a month or two. Okay, let's take the lantern. Oh, excuse me. Hope I'm not getting sick. No, vintage is fun. We could do a little vintage later on. If people are interesante. Wait, no. Yes. We're soul bound. Oh, 
Hope you didn't get me sick. You wouldn't like what happened to you, or what would happen to you if you did. All right, so what do we got here? Gruel Signet, Geist, Thought Scour. What other tier one decks are fun and vintage? I couldn't really tell you. Like, Paradoxical Storm is still basically the only deck I've truly played. I think I'm just going to take the Siggy. Dang, Profit's good, but Rift is fine. Shops is the classic. Nimble's good. Okay, everything is good there. All right, let's get back to business here. What does Revel Art get back? Nothing? For all? Phantasmal image? It's good on Phantasmal and so are. That might not be a bad plan. Oh, Lantern Golos? All right, fine. You know what? You sold me. That sounds fun. Frost Titty Wield. Wow. Good sideboard card. This is one of the cards that didn't get pulled. The list was still uh, with the previous updates, or previous ban list. It's a good sideboard card as well. Whoosh! Uh, what do we got? Venser? Elspeth? I don't have enough fixing, really, for this white right now. Hey, Cytri! Thank you for the five months. You are welcome. I'm glad you could join. I might not be running this Golos. <laughs> Sheldock's nice. We shall take it. I do still need quite a few playables here. It's not that our mana is trash, it's like, it's not trash at all. It's just I don't think the deck's very good, period. It's missing some key components. Spell Pierce, or Immortal Sun could be good. Kind of down to take the sun. There's the Tempest Gin. Probably playing that. All right, Master of Waves might be coming back. There's no reason to run Sahili or Zealous if I'm not playing any combo. Am I taking Urza? I don't know what I'm doing. Mono blue Golos! I think Sahili's still good enough to splash. Same thing with Zealous. We can just run like four mountains or whatever. There's Resto Angel too, but we're just missing the Keeks. Oh, card draw it is. Definitely our worst deck yet. <sighs> Sarkin? Or Delver? Nope, Delver sucks. Sarkin's not really doing much either. I guess I'm gonna pull. <gasps> Mono blue Nickel Bolas? We could. <laughs> God, I don't, I don't even have enough counters. I have Remand and Cryptic. Yikes. We can probably win a few games. Our opponent mulligans to three and we get lucky. It's not just a combo, it's a flavor win. I wonder if I should just play the Shinobi instead. Shinobi, Shinobi gives me a way to win the game. That is to say, it gives us our opponent's cards to win. To win with, I should say. Terramander's like really bad here, right? Alright. This is not bad. It kind of came together. Kind of, not really. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, Signet's bad now too, isn't it? Yep, Signet's it's a cut. I guess I can just run the staff instead of the Signet. Or I can run the Sorcerer. Actually, let's run the Spyglass instead of the staff. There are enough hits in this cube. Also, it's an artifact for Urza. Alright, I'm gonna run like four swamps. Maybe that's too many. Three swamps. Yeah, three swamps should be plenty. Three swamps, Chromatic Lantern, and Golos. Done. Uh, I rate this deck 2 out of 10. If it had rice, yeah, it'd probably be like closer to a 9. But no rice. That's true. Not the If I had taken the Terramander, it would have been nice for activating Shinobi. Oh my gosh. I can cast Pull from tomorrow for two blue with Brawl out and still draw one card. What do we want to hit you here, like Sphinx or something? At that point, the Shinobi's not even going to be relevant. I'm going to take the Compulsive. Can't beat a green deck, ever. Can't beat a green deck, a white deck, a red deck, another blue deck. Just can't, just can't beat anything. <gasps> That's kind of funny. Still can't win. Oh, Jesus. God, pair that- they should have paired that with the wolf and started eating all, any creature that I played. That was a mistake, I think. Not that- it, again, not that it matters. Alright. <laughs> what did we learn? Oh, one drop. If I lose this match here, I'm just going to drop and uh, redraft. Oh, that's right. You're, yeah, yeah. Silverheart is a wolf itself. To wreck me. Doot doot. <gasps> no wonder they know to draft the green. Green makes you feel alive. Therefore, you draft it and you feel alive. This hand is definitely alive. Turn two, turn off their mana dork. Turn three, obstructionist. Turn four, fallen shinobi ninjutsu, eating their terastodon, killing all their lands, making them concede the game. Man, those all suck. I guess I have to name Thorn. Excuse me. What a poop soup turn. Yeah, well, no, Master of the Wild Hunt would make a lot of sense, too, if I want to do that. Doesn't matter, though. We're just going to go Nimble into Fallen into GG, I win. You can't beat this power. Beast Whisperer! Three, if I hit three land, then I would file for a reimbursement, because this only reveals two. Here we go. I'm playing the sax music right now if you couldn't hear. What's up, suckers? GG go next. GG go next. Upkeep beast within? Hmm. You got me. 
Uh, you can't stifle that ability. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it only costs two. That's right. <laughs> Play mono blue. Win with green cards. It's just the way of the world. That's a big Hydra. He gave me a 4-4 four, four because I have Immortal Sun. Pumping it up. Bumping it up and pumping it up. Iman shump shumpered it up. Oh, I could have killed them! I punted! I could have played the Obstructionist, which they knew about. And, uh... Dealt one more damage. I didn't realize they were taking that much damage there. Hot damn. I just didn't even do the math. I didn't even click all though. I didn't. I didn't attack with my beast. It was a failure on multiple fronts. All right, let's uh, hope that we get lucky again. I guess. Uh, okay, with Urza on the battlefield, Chromatic Lantern can add blue. That's pretty good. It's a combo. Chat. If you've never seen a combo in Magic: The Gathering, I have one right in my hand. Urza allowing Chromatic Lantern to make blue. Hope you're taking notes. You're about to see a pro gamer move. I drew a two drop, and so I'm going to cast it on turn two. This also gives me information. And with the information, I can therefore name something more relevant than just, you know, something random. As in Master of the Wild Hunt. If you guys aren't jotting this down, what are you doing with your life? Three mana, cast my three drop. Okay? Follow along. It's a six card. They mulliganed it. Or I think it's a six card. They mulliganed at least once. Well, now we have a decision. I could Urza into image their master. I could just YOLO GOLO. I think I'm gonna Urza image their master. Now, this also turns off, right? But that's fine, because we have the Cyclonic Rift in hand. So our game plan is just to, whoa, that's kind of scary. Go a little bit wide and then Cyclonic Rift them to the Stone Age and then win the game. Pro gamer move. Are they dead next turn? Pretty close. Transform Murderous Gear Hulk does not get the ETB. It is Master of the Wild Hunt. What is going on? Don't troll me. Poop in tutus, poop in tutus. And now here we enter the scoop phase of the game. The opponent doesn't know what hit him. GG. Wow, told you guys we were gonna easily 3-0. Didn't believe me. Do you at least have a little faith now? Next time you'll think before you speak. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this deck is great as long as you can copy or steal the opponent's good cards. 
What if my opponent's also playing bad cards? Then what happens? Uh, ugh, all right. I'm going to keep this and probably die to mono red. Mono black, excuse me. Wait, Pizza Hut has a cheese it pizza? Oh, that kills me too. My deck is very bad versus a card like that. Oh, I punted. What am I doing? I have freaking Tempest Gin in my deck and I play Swamp turn two? Holy moly, what is this kid thinking? He's not. Wow, bamboozled. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have even done that. I think they... Well, no, pull's not relevant for like 10 turns. Okay. I think we're in the same position we were in game one of the last match where... I just insta-scoop, and then uh, try to win game two and three. Tokes for days. I'm, I've seen enough here. I've seen more than enough here. A Amenifus. What is a Menifus? That name sounds very familiar, out of like some historical timeline or some movie or something. Menifus. Sounds Egyptian, if nothing else. I don't see a Menifus. Oh wait, a Menifus. Isn't that Tylenol? I'm an uptra. Uh oh god, I'm gonna keep this and I need to draw land. The only problem is it's so slow, the staff. Alright, found the land. Good job. What you got in there, homie? Oh, and a disenchant! You cheater! So I guess it doesn't really matter what I name. Name Bitter Blossom to confuse them. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I might not have done that right. Yeah, I, I done goofed. I done goofed real hard. This is not. I forgot this one could allow mana abilities. Yeah, well, nobody said I was smart. Really wanted to draw a land there so I could Teferi into Master. That's pretty awkward. Now they can just kill my Lantern. Umat the Nubby. Would have been nice if uh, Spyglass was on, like, Gideon, so that they would have to blow up the Spyglass. And then they wouldn't have played Gideon until this turn. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that time, guys? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Do as I say, not as I do. Disenchant was a mistake, but they can't go back that far. How goes the stream? Well, it was going well until I uh, decided to throw it all away. Mm -hmm. I did rob you of a 3-0. Any person I play against and beat has been robbed of their 3-0. Let it be known. That's what I'm saying. Person we played against in round one said they I robbed them. Oh wait, never mind. I guess I played that person earlier. That would be a great time to draw a land. Chat, I promise you I will concede if I don't draw a land. Well, that's too bad. Promised. Promise is a promise. 
Just got to do what you got to do. On to game two. The faster we're over with this draft, the faster we can draft again. Well, a little bit slow and dirtily, but we can keep this. Be a shame if you forced red rocks. Oh my god. I think we're probably going to want cryptic more than any of those others. Having vintage on stream since yesterday. Pfft. They're going to add Masters 1, 2, and 3 non-Phantom drafts? Wait, when? When is this? I must know! Oh my god, October 9th through 16th, Masters Edition, October 23rd to 30th, Masters Edition... Yes! Those are some of my favorite formats to ever play on Magic Online. I don't know why, I just like, love playing with the old, weird cards. Like... <laughs> actual old and actual weird. You have all the, like, horsemanship and crap. That's fun. What's you got under there, friend? Whoa, lag spike. Ooh, a little rampy pamp. Not bad. And cast Sphinx next turn with that. That beer was not satisfying. That lunch beer was dissatisfactory. I just had more coffee. Coffee's the true winner. Wait a minute. This doesn't work. OP, no! Unless they're stealing back the morph. No, OP, you didn't read the card! It just says for as long as it remains on the battlefield. Oh, Pog! Wait. I'm so confused. So confused. Got him! If that's not a tasty pasty, I don't know what is. All right, let's just jam the damn Sphinx. Upkeep, can you bounce or kill my Sphinx? Do you have a beast within type of effect? Or will I get to draw my cards? OP, I must know. Cards for Kenji. <laughs> Maloku? More like Malopu. Haha. <laughs> interesting chat. Very, very interesting. I think I'm just going to play the sower, steal the Maloku. And then pass with Rift open. Dude, Sower, or not Sower, Maloku with Shellock Isle is pretty damn crazy. Every other turn I get to Shelldock Isle, potentially. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they were like, nope. Nope. I'll take it. <sighs> Come on, OP. Snapkeep? Chat, what do you think? I've got a turn three, three, four flyer. Is that good enough? It's probably not good enough, but... Eh, already dead. Oh, wait a minute. That's a kind of interesting curve. Ooh. Ooh. 
Maybe we get to shinobi something on turn four instead. If we're not just dead. Opponent is ramping out pretty hard. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> ah, GG. We left the land on top, I'm guessing. Look, this deck wasn't very good to begin with. What? No way. They bounced? <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Can I get a turn six, please? Joke's on you. I don't have any spares. Jace is, Jace is just an uber unsummon, and it's going to be good enough to kill me. <laughs> uh, bounce the goif, take five. I can't win this game. Yeah, it's over. Maybe if they didn't hit me for seven here, maybe I could Cyclonic Rift, bounce all their stuff, and then they get to replay it all in one turn, but four mana, multiple unsummons, good enough. All right, let's get back in the queue. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.